Welcome, welcome. What's going on? Hola. Hello, hello. All right. This is it. We're going to begin in just a few minutes. I forgot welcome, my book. Welcome. Come on in. Yeah, come on down now. You here? You see, I posted the other one, right? Yep. yep, come on in, guys. If you don't see your team on there, tag your team. Welcome, welcome. It is Hump Day, Wealthy Wednesday. Send out my last few messages. When it gets started, one more minute. All right, right on time. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get started. This, li this live is, is being recorded. So what's up, you guys? I hope everyone has had an amazing day so far. I'm going to just get right, right to it. I've been having a lot of, you know, conversation with other leaders outside of our organizations, just getting a lot of feedback you know, different things to be able to help implement within our teams as we all continue to grow our businesses. And um, one leader definitely said something that, that really spoke volumes to me. And they said that they wrote a letter to their direct sponsor. And their letter said, thank you. Thank you so much for thinking of me, for sharing this opportunity and basically firing them in the most respectful way possible. Why? Because they had to take ownership of their own business. And when I heard that, I'm like, I know that's right. You know, because when I started this business, I was a little unsure if I wanted to do it in the first place, okay? I didn't know if this was real. I didn't know if I could even do it. I didn't know anything about credit, much less, marketing and taking selfies, right? This was a huge challenge for me because this is something that I've never done before. I've never had any experience in network marketing, much less any type of online business. Everything I've done had been hands-on, right? So with that being said, as I started to grow and started to plug myself into the trainings, just like my mentor told me before, Stick to the system, stay plugged in, and always stay close to the fire. Always call my mentors. So that's exactly what I did, right? If I had a question and they couldn't answer because they were still new, I would just call corporate office and went straight to the, to the source, right? And then as I started to learn more than my own sponsor, I already knew what time it was. It was time for me to say, you know what? I got this. 
I must master my business. Why? Because we are independent sales representatives, right? ISRs. We operate under the 1099 tax laws, right? Which means we're independent. We're here to help, but you build the business, right? And one of the other leaders said that just this past Monday, which was phenomenal. So with that being said, a couple of days ago, I had a great conversation with one of the senior vice presidents in this company. We are like brother and sister. And I also had a conversation with this person just this morning. And, you know, we have a lot of respect, respect for one another. And just to get straight to the point, you guys, you know, we were just kind of bouncing ideas back and forth from each other. And I really wanted to focus on this right here because this is the foundation of our business and which not only will help you, but will help all new agents coming into the business to really grow and to really achieve what it is that they want for themselves, for their goals and for their families, which not for nothing, it's imperative to, to know that we're not in it just for ourselves. We're in it to impact other people, right? Making an impact, but of course, making an income, right? So I encourage you, take some notes if you can. If you can, take some screenshots. And if you're driving like Ms. Lisa, this is being recorded. So no worries, I already handled that, okay? So what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you guys. And we're going to get straight to tonight's training. Give me one second as I create this slide really quick. All right. So boss up entrepreneurs, you guys, this is super exciting because we are all entrepreneurs. For those that are brand new entrepreneurs, hey, hats off to you, right? This is something to be very excited about, something to be very proud of. Why? Because this is the time in your life that you can really set the foundation, not only for yourself, but for your family. This is something that's tangible that you can leave behind, right? So, Tonight, we're going to discuss the core rank development. And this is what a lot of individuals look past. And to be honest with you, this is the most important in the entire business, which is the core rank, as we all know, field trade, right? So we're going to go on a day-to-day -day basis what you should be learning in just that core rank, even if you're an agent going close to that field training position, this is what you should be learning and developing, right? As you start to grow your experience here with FES, right? So day one, you want to focus on mindset for financial education services. Not only that, have in your mind, I have a national convention every year, once a year. Yes, we have Super Saturdays. Yes, we have different conferences, but we have a national convention that is once a year. The one that's coming up is August 6th through the 8th in Orlando, Florida. That to me is non-negotiable. Why? Because I'm going to rub shoulders with documented seven-figure earners, multiple six, seven-figure earners that are there to pour into us, right? And if they can, why can't we, right? So the opportunity is definitely there. A lot of people in life wish they could even have a conversation with a documented seven-figure earner. And you have the opportunity at the national convention. So if you don't have your ticket, I encourage you to go to FES convention and get that tonight. Day two, right? You want to go and get the Go Pro book, right? Very, very important book because this is really going to give you the introduction to the industry of network marketing. You also wanna know what your daily tasks are and focus on personal development. See, this business is 90% mindset and it's 10% skill set, right? So what you lack in skills, you'll make up in numbers. Day three, how to do a credit karma analysis. 
super important. Our industry, our, you know, our company, we have a focus on credit restoration. So you must know how to do an analysis on someone's credit karma. When you're giving people free credit consultations, you want to know what to ask for, what to look at. And if you don't know, we want to make sure that we get you trained on that as well. Day four, the ATM system, right? The ATM stands for add, tag, and message. Super important to always add people, tag people to any of your posts, and send out the messages. You also want to be able to upload Wordboard. For those that have an iPhone, Wordboard will change your life and save you so much time for you to be able to send out messages a lot faster. Now, they do have something very similar for the Androids. I don't quite know exactly what that app is called, but I'll make sure to get that information out to those that do have Androids. And then you want to be able it's to called know- It's called Lazy, Bo Lazy Board, babe. Lazy Board? Lazy Board. There you go. Lazy Board for Androids, Word Board for iPhones. Thank you so much. Then you want to be able to know what your DMO is your daily method of operation. You want to get organized. It is super imperative to get organized because there's so much information, you know, to learn that comes with this business. And if you're not organized, you're going to have a complete chaos where you're going to be what? Overwhelmed. And that's the last thing you want. Day five in your core rank development, posture, energy, high energy equals high income. And you also want to know how to edify. Edification is key because if you're not properly edifying, right, your sponsors, the leaders, people are not going to give that individual the respect that they deserve to be able to give that individual, you know, the, you know, the answers to their questions that they potentially might have, right? Day six, you want to make sure that you're fully are on the same page, you know, with the knowledge of the tools that you have, access to in all the apps that do come with our company. Now, day seven, you should start practicing and leveraging the net, networking, leveraging the trial runs, right? If you don't know what the trial run is, get back with your sponsor. We'll make sure that you fully understand how to do the trial runs. This is just a, a way for you to be able to have exposure 100x, okay? Day eight, you should already know how to maneuver through your websites. We have two websites, our UCES website and our FES website. You want to be able to, if you have questions, make sure that those questions get answered, right? Because these are your websites. Not only that, you have access to corporate. They're open from Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you have a question, Make sure you call agent support. They're there. They're trained to be able to answer your question. On day nine, you want to focus on your social media and your branding. It is so important. See, people want to do business with who they believe, like, and trust. And you can't sell a dream looking like a nightmare. So if you have yet to get a photo shoot or have some professional pictures taken of you, you want to make sure you're getting that done ASAP, like yesterday. Very important. Day 10. A lot of times people get discouraged. Man, I haven't enrolled anyone. I haven't really spoken to anyone. I haven't piqued anyone's interest to becoming an agent. Or I'm speaking to people and they're not really biting to enroll in as a customer. Listen, it's okay, right? But just know that it's, it's a numbers game and it's a ratio every 10 people, you're going to go ahead and enroll that one person. And out of a hundred people interested in the business, you're going to find maybe two leaders, maybe two, right? And mind you, that's just me being nice. All right. So trust and believe who starts with you today may not end up with you where you end up, right? Day 11, lead generation. It's super important for you to be able to know how to be able to generate leads on a daily basis. We'll talk about that here shortly. Day 12, you want to know the importance of the events in your brand. See, people don't join the company. People are joining you. You are the brand, right? 
So I encourage everyone right now, take a selfie, put three fingers up. And what I want you to do, all right, is I want you to post that, whether it be on Instagram, Facebook, both. And I want you to write in the caption, what are three things that when you think about me or when you see me, what are three things that you automatically think of? And that right there will tell you what your audience thinks of you. See, this was an assignment that I did during the GoPro event with Eric Worre, right? And if I'm not mistaken, I believe it was Jesse Lee Ward that had us do that assignment. And a lot of people were telling me, uh, great mother, God-fearing entrepreneur, right? Those are like the main three things that people know about me, right? So you want to know what your audience knows about you. So now that's what you should be focusing on because that is what is attracting people to come to you, to come to your page, to even like your posts, okay? In addition to that, day 13, you should already know how to be able to tell your story. So if you're taking notes, I encourage you, it is time for you to write down your story. Getting started, that should have been your first assignment, writing your story. See, facts tell, but stories sell. And if you're not out there sharing your story, you're missing the boat. People want to hear your story. Don't you want to share your story? It's a special story. So you want to be able to perfect your story. What were you doing before FES? what you didn't like about it, how you were introduced, and where do you see yourself, right, in the future with this opportunity, okay? So that is about telling your story. Day 14, you'll definitely have an opportunity to, you know, have questions, and then you'll make sure that we get those questions answered. Day 15, you got to be able to understand the United Wealth Educators app. If you have not played with the app, you're missing the boat. It comes with your FES, um, what your FES investment, right? For the entire year, it was only $11. So I encourage you, get on the app. There's different trainings that are provided and stuff and recorded Zoom trainings that they've already touched on with the, with the United Wealth Educators app. So trust and believe there is some great information on there and get you a link treat. A link tree is F-R-E-E. -E. I set mine up and it took me maybe about 45 minutes, right? So if you need any help, reach out to someone, get your link tree up. A lot of business professionals have a link tree, okay? So I highly encourage you to be accessible. Have people understand that you are a business professional. See, it's okay that you're an amateur, but you know what? You are an amateur growing into a business professional. See, Rome wasn't built in one day. Google wasn't established overnight. It's going to take time. See, this is a three to five year game plan, right? It's better than a 40 to 65 year plan. So enjoy your journey, trust the process, but know that it's going to take time for you to be able to develop yourself into one, a business owner, but two, into leadership, okay? Day 16, you wanna be able to grow your Facebook page, right? You wanna be able to export any of those contacts that you do have when you're networking with people on your social media and also leverage the ATM system. Add, tag, and message. Always tag people. Well, Zarina, people don't like me tagging. It's okay, we'll delete them and add you a new friend, right? Trust and believe you're going to recycle so many people on social media and people that were your friends, you'd be surprised. They're going to just fall off. You know why? Because they weren't meant to grow with you. That part. Okay. Day 17, the importance of events. You guys, events create belief. And when you go to these events, Leaders are born at events. When I tell you, I did not fully understand the concept of this business until I started plugging myself into all of these events, right? You also want to understand the stories of different leaders. So when you're talking to a nurse, you'll think, who? 
Alicia Gaines, or excuse me now, she's married, Alicia Davis. If you think of, or if you speak to an engineer, you're automatically going to think of who? Executive Vice President Jabari Sadler. If you think of a DJ, right? Got into a lot of trouble in the past street life. You're going to think of who? Executive Vice President David Marquez. You guys, the stories can go on and on that I can leverage stories to be able to link those to people that I'm sitting in front of, right? Hey, I know these people. They're a part of my business, okay? Day 18, using Gmail for time blocking for your business. See, your sponsor shouldn't have to remind you, hey, there's a training here. Hey, there's an event here. You should already know. Every Sunday, the alliance.net, we have a training at eight o'clock, right? Every Monday, vpuniversity.net, there's a training at nine o'clock, right? Moving forward, there will be a training every single Wednesday at eight o'clock, right? So you want to make sure that you're plugging yourself in. The first Saturday of every qualifying month, there's an online super Saturday. See, I've memorized all these trainings. Why? Because I was told, Zarina, stick to the system, stay plugged in. And that's exactly what I've done. Even if I was busy, listen, I would just put my earphones on. My camera would be off. I would let the, you know, the host know, hey, I can't put my camera on, but I'm on. I'm listening. I, it didn't matter to me. I could be at dinner, family gathering, loud place. I was going to go ahead and sa sacrifice that 45 minutes to hour to make sure I was plugged in because there's always going to be that one thing that you may have needed to really take your business to the next level. So I promise you, if there was a meeting, if there was a training that I missed, I felt guilty. I just felt like I was missing something. Why? Because I didn't plug myself in. So I want to make sure that FES, it needs to be in you, right? But only if you want it to. Day 19, you want to be able to learn to follow up, learn to invite, and to close. So there's a lot within that core rank to be able to develop into the leadership. Mind you, this is core rank. What is the core rank, ladies and gentlemen? Put that in the chat. I want some participation. What is our core rank in our company? What is our core rank in our company? What is the first promotion in the company? Thank you. FT, what does the FT stand for? Field trainer, excellent field trainer. Ladies and gentlemen, that may have been a lot of stuff, but let me tell you something. That is, those are things that you need to be able to strive and grow here with your, with, you know, with your business. Now, field trainer, take a screenshot of this. I received this document when I first got started in the business. They told me, Zarina, strive for five, three months to, to sales direct. I said, okay, say less. I put my name right here. I have a protection plan. All right, so get, to get to Phil Trainer, I need two agents and three customers. Okay, say less. So I filled out the, you know, the boxes and I made sure I got it done. You didn't have to tell me twice. Hey, I got it done. What's next? Right? You don't want to overwhelm yourself because it is a lot of, in, you know, a lot of information. So the goal is to get you to Phil Trainer your first thirty days. Why? So you don't pay the $89 monthly overhead. If you have an opportunity to get something free, wouldn't you go and make it a point to have it free? If it's free, it's for me, right? So we want to make sure that we are not only helping you get to fill trainer, we want to make sure that you get a return on your investment and you eliminate that $89 overhead. Trust and believe I'm allergic to the $89. Blow up my phone. It could be two, three o'clock in the morning, and I'm gonna answer it. I might sound like I might sound like a man in the morning, but you know what? I'm gonna make sure I pick the phone up. Why? Because if you got somebody that needs to hear the information, I want to make sure that I help you close that individual so we could get them enrolled, whether it be an agent and or a customer. Now, mind you, ideally, we want to get you to fill trainer in the first. 72 hours, right? Now it's coming from the pinnacle, senior vice president, Alfred Nixon. He says it all the time, launching your business within the first 24 to 36 hours and getting you to fill trainer within 72 hours. 
I've seen somebody hit sales director in two days. Trust me, everyone is different. Everyone's journey is different. So you don't have to compare someone else's success to yours, okay? Now, we're gonna now touch on the lead generation. For those that were on the training on Monday night, we had Regional Vice President VG Quinones. She touched on the lead generation, right? See, your net worth will equal your net worth. See, I didn't get a hold of this lead generation un until maybe like three or four months ago. And I'm one of those to network with all the top leaders in the company. Why? Because they have what I want, right? And if I can have access to that, I'm going to be that person and be selfless and say, hey, here's the information I got from all these people. Take it and run with it because I know I am, right? So we're gonna go ahead and touch on that lead generation. This is your daily method of operation, ladies and gentlemen, right? This is what you should be doing on an every day to day basis, not sometimes every day. Just like you go to job and you have duties at your job. Well, this is your duties for your business. Now, you don't have to sit there for an hour and do it, but you can break it down throughout the day. Post three different types of content on your Facebook and Instagram. Set alarms on your phone and hold yourself accountable. Trust me, life gets in the way. Your husband and wife get in the way. The children get in the way. Trust me, I get it. I'm a single mom. I get alarms for everything. Because I forget I'm human, but trust and believe I have alarms to, uh, to remind me that I need to post. You want to also post compliant results, credit tips, and lifestyle. Zarina, what's a lifestyle picture? Well, you know what? Get yourself dressed up. I don't care if you do three wardrobe changes. Have fun with it, you guys. And afterwards, take a picture. You could stand outside in front of a tree. Go to your local grocery store, whatever. You see Mercedes Benz, BMW. Take a picture real quick next to the car. Who cares? Fake it till you make it. You like the car, it's your favorite car, right? Lifestyle. We are in the time where everything is online. So this is called attraction marketing. I had no idea what attraction marketing was until what? I went to YouTube and YouTube marketing. What are different marketing strategies? And I would sit up till three, four, five o'clock in the morning learning how to market because I had no idea what I was doing, right? There's different strategies. You want to send 15 messages to influencers on Instagram, and that is a shout out script. Mind you, you have access to all this information, ladies and gentlemen. You want to contact 15 professionals on LinkedIn. If you don't have a LinkedIn, please get that tonight. Why? Because it's free. You're going to now network with business professionals, which is exactly what you want in your business. You want to post on 10 to 15 Facebook groups. Why? Because a lot of these Facebook groups have over 10, 20, 30, 50,000 people in one group. It is insane. You can make one post and within one hour, you have over a thousand comments plus, right? So if you love dogs, for all my dog lovers, get you in a group with people that love dogs and start to network with your dog lover friends, right? Doesn't matter. You want to get yourself in those groups. Friend request, 10 to 15 people. Um, contact 10 realtors. You can also leverage realtor.com. There's been a training on this past Monday, VPU. You can always go back to that, to the recording, to see different strategies and how to be able to look up realtors on Facebook and Instagram. You want to be able to friend request 15 professionals on Facebook. Well, what does a professional look like? Well, that professional doesn't have their pants hanging on their pants, right? Or the female with a bikini on, no, right? These are business professionals that you're like, you know what, I could trust this person with my social. Those are the individuals that you wanna be able to network on social media. Well, what do you say? Hey, how are you doing today? I just ran across your page and you know, I just wanna wish you congratulations on all your success. Just say hi. Again, we're in network marketing, not not work marketing. You got to talk to people, right? You also want to send out 30 to 40 random messages and it could just say, hello, how are you doing today, right? Scroll up people's pages. 
you know, get familiar with what people are posting. They, a person may have gotten married. Hey, like their post, make a comment, send them a message. Hey, I just want to wish you a congratulations on getting married. How long have you guys been together, right? I wish you all success, whatever. But that's the best way to be able to start a conversation with an absolute stranger. You also want to schedule one webinar a day or invite to a webinar a day. Go to the grocery store, gas station. Uh, doesn't matter. Hey, do you keep your income opportunities open? Well, look, I can't promise you anything, but I have two spots available to a Zoom webinar tonight at nine o'clock. If I would send you an invitation, would you be able to jump on, right? The answers, yes or no. Is the no going to hurt you? No, keep it moving, right? Because the no is not no forever. It just means not right now, okay? So you also want to be able to schedule a shout out um, if possible on, on your Instagram accounts. Ladies and gentlemen, success leaves clues. When I did my first shout out on Instagram, this young, this young lady had one point something million followers. It was crazy. We paid about $200 split two ways, right? And let me tell you, we had this influencer send all those you know, followers to our email, phone number, and to the post. We had over four or 500 leads off of a $200 investment. Did we make our investment back? Absolutely, right? So it's worth doing that. Our Pinnacle Senior Vice President, Mr. Alfred Nixon, he is still creating a budget where he pays um, the shade room to shot him out. McDonald's is still doing commercials. Nike is still doing commercials. So why not you? I recommend doing this after you make your investment, after you made uh, eliminated the $89 overhead and hit fill trainer, right? So I want to make sure that everyone's already made their investment, right? So I always encourage to at least do one shout out a week if possible. You want to be able to follow up with your declines if you already started signing up customers and add your leads to a book of no's. Let me tell you, not only do I have these right here, but I have a whole folder down there full of people that I always go and I follow up every couple weeks, every three weeks, just to get in people's faces. I'll even send them results to show them, hey, I have somebody with a 45 point increase. Just letting you know our services work. So whenever, excuse me, whenever you're ready, just get back to me, right? Now, I want to explain to you about the power hour. This is a way to be able to work together, whether it be in the morning or in the evening. This is so powerful. And I got to give a huge shout out. I'm not too sure if she's on right now, but to newly promoted senior field trainer, Ms. Maritza Mendez. This young lady, she brought this to the attention to our organization to be able to come together on Zoom and work together. Now, well, what do you do? Well, we're going to break that down right now. So in the power hours, you guys, mind you again, it's Monday through Friday. Um, our regional sales director, big shout out to Alfred Singleton Empire, right? So the website is right there, www.buildyourempires.net. And then 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 3 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. We will get those up and going again, www.letsbossup.net. Well, what are we doing on these power hours? This right here, the lead generation. We, were, we will be doing this every day. Not only that, you're going to get nuggets from whoever is hosting and whoever's on. We were doing um, our credit board certifications. Huge shout out to Ace Daniels out in the California market. Uh, Miss Milan Stokes, uh, Keith Harris, uh, Je Jesse Nelson. We were all on their study and a lot of us have been able to come together, working together, and we were able to get our certifications. Lonzo Cash, Brea, um, Mickey Gonzalez all got their certifications all because we came together on these power hours and we worked together and what happened? We executed. So with that all being said, you guys, I wanted to get straight to the point. And now I want to open up the floor for any questions so we can get those answered for you. All right. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing my screen and I'm going to open up the floor to anyone that may have any questions. And you could go ahead and unmute your line. All right, guys, this is the time that you actually raise your hand and ask those questions. There is no bad question. So ask the question. Any questions, any questions at all? Don't be shy. I have a question. Oh, go ahead. Available? Are your all slides right. going to be available? Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. Yes, you're very welcome. Go ahead, Christina. Okay, so I, I was talking to Maritza yesterday because I had a realtor I was speaking to. Um, and she said to me that she'd love to work with me. Where do I work? Right? So we have all these scripts to initiate conversation, but I couldn't find anything that was really like a follow-up for a guide. I'm still new at this and getting comfortable with having those conversations. And I'm trying to get an idea of what a good response would be to still keep them on the fish hook as I'm trying to reel them in with information. Absolutely. So let me ask you the question. Mm -hmm. Where do you work, Christina? I work for me. Uh, I told her that I uh, worked with a company that you know, leveraged our Fair Credit Act to help remove the negative items off of, you know, the, the customer's report to make their credit score go up, in which turn would help her out because then she'd get more approvals. Um, I, but I, I literally went through every single script out of 300 screenshots that I have on my phone to try and find something on the spot. And, I'm, and you know, my mentor is not always available. She has always has something to do. So like she was on it, but I'm like, I need a quick response. Like my brain wasn't working properly. I had two kids trying to do everything in between, you know, everything that you do as a mom. And I, my brain froze and I was like, uh, and I totally got like that stage fright for a half a second. Like, I don't even know what to say. I don't know how to explain this without making it sound like I'm an employee for somebody else versus, you know, building my own empire. Absolutely. Hey, listen, it is okay. You work from home and so can she, right? And right. you're, you work or you decided to partner up with a nonprofit organization that can help with her own qualified buyers. But you work from home. Yeah. It's true. Okay. You work from home. And so, can you. yep. Awesome. Now, Jesse, did you want to add to that answer? Yeah, I was going to. Um, so, guys, you have to remember that the mindset has shifted since the pandemic. Before, Saying that you work from home was a, oh, you work from home. But now everybody wants to work from home because they have seen how, con you know, convenient it is to be at home with their kids while they're making money. So when you say that, you say it with posture. I work from home. I have the benefit of working from home where I can spend time with my kids. I can, you know, be there for them, and I can still make a good living. You do it with posture. Don't freeze up because you really have what everyone wants. Nobody wants to go back after the pandemic. The world is opening up. Very few companies are going to be bringing people back. So when you say that, right. know she's, the fact. She's a realtor, though. Fact. So I was really in the realtor. And it's somebody I know I work with realtors all day long. So, well, I'm sorry, what was that? I work with realtors, I work with realtors all day long. Mm -hmm. They don't want to be out there running, but they have to. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it doesn't matter. They could be the Pope. I don't know if you look at my, uh, if you follow me on social media, I put a post up that said, good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain. I will be working from home this evening. Mm -hmm. And it, he was flying the plane, okay? So it's just a play on what's going on in the mindset of people. Right. Okay? So you've got something powerful that you're doing that they want to do. 
Right. Thank, so thank where you, do Jocelyn. you work, Christine? Thank you. Where yes, you Christine, that was, that was a great answer. So on the yeah. spot, hey, you did a great job. But working from home, like she mentioned, it's a normal thing now. So you did right. great. Don't, don't second guess yourself. Just have that posture, have the confidence on what you're talking about. Because if a person's interested, they're interested. And if they're not, they're not. Right, exactly. Exactly. Yep. Awesome. So you, Thank you. Yes, but you did a great job. Great job Thank answering you. that. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And also know that we have group chats as well, just like Alfred Singleton put into the chat in here as well. Use yeah. the group chats, right? Screenshot. Put it in the chat. Hey, can somebody help me answer this question? Right. That's what Maritza said, too. She was like, listen, I'm not always available, but we got the group chats. Utilize them. So Correct. Correct. Get more into it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Great job. Thanks, Christina. Great question. Great question. Does anyone else have any questions? We are opening up the floor for Q&A. Any questions? Any questions at all? It could be about structure. It could be about anything. Ask your questions. Could it be that we covered everything, Azita? <laughs> I'm yes, not that you covered good. everything. Yes, you did. You covered everything. Perfect. All right, great. Well, what I do want to go ahead and do, ladies and gentlemen, is I want to hold on a second is I wanna go ahead and quickly share this with you all. It is super, super easy, but not only that, very helpful. I'm getting ready to start doing them myself. I stopped for a while just to be very transparent, but I'm gonna get back to doing it again. So, um, recording. In all right, perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen on my cell phone. Hoping I can, um, can everyone see my screen? You got it, yep. All right, perfect. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, we'll do another training on this, but not only that, you can actually go into your back office, but you wanna be able to get a uh, ads manager. Now we had senior vice president, Ms. Uh, Amina Rashid, she was talking about the ads manager on our um, on our training, okay? And she was talking about ads manager on Facebook. Now, this is a way for you to be able to, you know, make, do ads. So for example, I had an ad right here that I had over 104 conversations, right? $2.78 uh, cents calls per messages. Now, mind you, I only spent 288. When I did this ad, I definitely had, if I'm not mistaken, over six enrollments, right? And I only invested 288. Here is another one. I had 159 messages. This was an ad for an agent, 82 cents. I only spent $129.78 for that ad. So in conclusion to why I'm bringing this up, right? After you make your investment, you want to make sure that you are reinvesting back into your business. Why? Because this is going to give you more exposure. People are coming to you as opposed to you feeling that you have to go to them. It could even be a dollar a day, right? It could be $2 a day. Whatever you can afford to put into a budget, is what I highly encourage everyone to start doing moving forward, considering that we are now what? If I'm not mistaken, the third quarter of 2021, okay? So don't be afraid to, you know, to invest back into your business. So as you see here, $23, $5, $34, $20. But you know what? Are some of these ads going to hit? Meaning, are you going to get a lot of leads? Some no because of the algorithm, but you know what? Some will hit and you're going to get a lot of clicks. You're going to get a lot of leads and a lot of traffic coming to your page. I also encourage everyone, for those that are new, I encourage you not only to have a Facebook personal page, 
but you also want to be able to have a Facebook business page, okay? After you set up your Facebook business page, what I want you to do is I want you to share your business page within your groups and have everyone in the groups leave you a review. People are going to go to your pages and they're going to see how many reviews you have. So why not leverage all 22 of us and you're going to have 22 reviews on your page, right? It doesn't that make sense? And there's been a lot of us have had a lot of great results with this company, with the services. So you want to be able to make sure that you invite people to your community. You're going to have people liking it. You're going to have people follow you. You can link your link tree on here. You can have people email you, uh, call you, whatever the case may be. You can also have it to where people can set up appointments to be able to schedule consultations with you, right? So it's very important that you know that you have access to a Facebook business page that's absolutely free. You can also do your ads here as well, ladies and gentlemen. So it's super important that you know that you can do that. In addition to that, you can link your Facebook to your Instagram. So when you're posting, oh, look, shout outs to Miss Clarissa. She's over here always branding herself, right? You can link your Facebook business to your Instagram. So when you're posting on the actual feed, so for example, here's mine, right? When you post to your feed, it'll post to the feed of the actual Facebook business page. Not only that, when you post on your Facebook story on your personal page, it'll actually post on your Instagram story page, right? So those are little hacks that you learn as you continue to grow here with our platform. So you wanna make sure that you have access to that. And you also wanna make sure that you get you a TikTok, right? Got me questioning my memory. To be able to start a live on TikTok, you gotta have over a thousand followers. I'm almost there. See, I'm still also growing my page, ladies and gentlemen, but there's so many different leaders that you can learn from. We got Michelle, the financial coach. She's on the top charts of our company. If you want to take a screenshot of her, she started her TikTok, uh, very small, very small followers. Now she has 1.7 million likes on TikTok. I highly urge and encourage every person on this Zoom tonight, follow Michelle Miller. Scroll all the way to the beginning of her journey and copy every single one of her TikToks. Why not? She's already did the work. So just copy it and make it your own, right? She's got different things. One-time freedom, closed accounts, right? Client testimonials, we can leverage each other. It's okay if you don't have your own customers, we will shout you out. And it's not lying, it's just showing people, hey, I know people with great results. This is a client testimony, right? So there's different things that you can use, ladies and gentlemen, to really grow and expand outside of Facebook, outside of Instagram. You can also leverage TikTok. You can also leverage Twitter. You can also leverage Snapchat, all right? So hopefully that was helpful to each and every single individual on this training tonight. There's so much to learn. There's so much to grow, but I do encourage everyone I'm gonna share my screen one more time before we go ahead and wrap up this evening's um, training. I wanna go ahead and show you one quick thing that I encourage everyone to do if you have not done so already. I want you to go to your FBS business page, which is this right here. Make sure that you have your picture up not only that, I want to make sure that when you go ahead and log in, what's the demo for um what's the demo login? Do you know? 
J Doe. Um, yeah. Yeah, hold on. Um, 007. I got it. You got it? Yep. Okay, gotcha. And with this, we're going to wrap this up. So this is what I encourage everyone to do, right? I want you to go to your FBS business office. Mind you, this is your office. I want you to click on training and get obsessed with the getting started videos. Get obsessed with the video library, right? This right here is going to show you the compensation plan basics, the comp, the customer acquisition bonus, the cab overrides, the 445 calendar and the free protection plan, sales volume, understanding the titles, the holding tank, structuring your organization. This right here, that should be highlighted in red, right? Because that right there is so important. The R&R club, how do you get to the R&R club? Hey. If 10 of us went out and got 50 protection plan memberships, now you just became an R&R &R level one where they're paying for your car. So go out there, get you a team of 10 U's, 10 U's, 10 go-getters that are coachable, hungry, and teachable. Tell them to go out there and just be crazy. Go help 50 people. Now the company will pay for your car. The commission tab, the cab report, organizational structure, this whole nine yards. You guys, so many people, they they do their best not to come back here. And I don't understand why, okay? Instead of looking at Netflix and the movies, check out these videos. This is going to have you fully understand your business, presenting the customer acquisition, right? Uh, marketing system, getting started. Titles and structure, a 90 day blitz. Okay, we will be doing that very shortly. There's so many different things that you can actually get yourself involved to really look at on the FES Live Summer. For those that wanna know a little bit more about how to be able to um, get an ad going, you go right here to social media, Coach Legend. He was the individual that, uh, that trained how to run an ad on Instagram. So I encourage you, right here, make sure to, that, to watch all these videos. And last but not least, get referral sources. This is right here. This is a gem that a lot of people just do not use. If Bob Joe does not wanna become an agent, trust me, it's okay. Well, hey, Bob Joe, I wanna add you as my referral source. Once you add an individual as a referral source, this company, FBS, will give Bob Joe our URL and password for him to be able to go ahead, log in, and upload. He's got a Jane Doe. She's looking to get her credit fixed. He puts her name, number, email, and a few notes, and he's going to go ahead and send that over to you. You're going to get an email coming from Bob Joe and that he sent you a Jane Doe and that she needs her credit fixed. You can have unlimited referral sources. Let me tell you, I just met a gentleman the other day over lunch. I was having a nice and loud conversation, okay? And he looked over and I just started smiling. He's like, hey, I couldn't help but to overhear you do credit. Yes, sir, I do. What do you do? He's like, I'm a mortgage lender. I have a system that has over 300 people that are unqualified that are just sitting there and I could totally refer them over to you. We have lunch tomorrow, you guys. And I'm super excited, why? Because I'm gonna add him as a referral source. I'm not even gonna press the agent, why? Because it's great to even have somebody to refer all those people over to me. Just imagine if you get 20 leads being referred over to you on a weekly basis. What if you close 10 people out of the 20 people that he referred over to you at $188? You just made a thousand dollars and that didn't even come from your Facebook, Instagram, nothing. That came from your source that referred all those people over to you. Not everyone has to be an agent, but they can refer those people over to you. Trust me, you have a business that has created multiple six and seven figure earners. If you're introverted, get extroverted. If you're shy, hey, that died yesterday and you were born today. Let's create the legacy, change the dynamics of your family because 
if a million, if you don't come from a millionaire family, well, you know what? The millionaire needs to come from you. So you guys, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Listen, it is time to boss up, own up to your business. If you have questions, reach out. You go into business for yourself, but you're never, ever by yourself. Shout outs to all of you kings and queens, and let's take this baby to the top. Let's go. Have a good night, you guys.